Hey everyone, I'm from the AK Flutter team and welcome back. If you're building Flutter apps or just starting out, this video is for you. I'm going to share five common issues used that every Flutter developer should know before starting any project. These are real problems that can save you a lot of time, bugs, and headaches. So grab your coffee and let's go. Text overflow. One of the biggest Flutter UI headaches is when long text doesn't fit in its container and ends up spilling outside. Have you ever added some text to your UI and suddenly it breaks the layout or goes outside its container? Yeah, that's a text overflow issue. You're placing a long string inside a widget like a row or a small container, and there's not enough space to show it all. Flutter tries to render it anyway, and boom, you get ugly UI. Wrap the text with a flexible or expanded widget to give it more room inside layout widgets like row, handle it properly, and make your UI look clean and professional. Let's see the next one. Now we will talk about a common error, which is parent data widget. Scary name, right? But actually, it's not that complicated. This error usually happens when you place a widget inside the wrong parent. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say you put a positioned widget outside of a stack. You get the error. If we search for the error name, we will see the parent data widget. Or you try to use expanded inside a column, but you wrap it incorrectly. Same deal. Because widgets like positioned, expanded, flexible, and align are called parent data widgets. They only work if they are direct children of specific parent widgets. So positioned only works inside a stack. Expanded and flexible only work inside a row, column, or flex. If you break that rule, Flutter throws the error because it doesn't know how to lay out that widget properly. Now, another scary looking red error in Flutter is vertical viewport was given unbounded height. So what does that mean? This usually happens when you put a scrollable widget, like a list view or a single child scroll view inside a parent that doesn't give it a fixed height. For example, directly inside a column. How tall should this scrollable thing be? It could be infinite. And since it can't figure it out, it throws this error. This causes the entire list to disappear. This is a common error, but the solution is simple and easy. To fix wrap the scrollable widget with an expanded or flexible so it knows how much space it should take, or give it a fixed height using a size box or container. The error has disappeared, but I prefer the expanded solution because it is more flexible than a specific height, except in special cases. Number four, ever tapped a text field in Flutter and had the keyboard cover your form? This is a super common layout problem. I have already created three text fields here and a button inside a column. And remember that all of this is inside a column. Looks good, right? But the moment you tap on a text field, the keyboard comes up and suddenly your button disappears under the keyboard. You can't even see what you're typing. So what's happening here? A simple column doesn't know how to resize when the keyboard shows up. It just sticks to its layout and lets the keyboard cover everything. To fix this, just wrap the content in a single child scroll view. This way, when the keyboard appears, the whole screen becomes scrollable and your form fields and buttons stay visible. Always remember, when building forms with multiple text fields, never use just a column. Use a scrollable layout so the keyboard doesn't break your UI. Here's another common Flutter error, a global key error. So what's happening here? Here, I'll create a global key. Then inside the column, I'll create a container and use the global key with the key parameter. I'll then repeat the same code and use the same key. We'll notice that it throws an error. If we try using it once, the error will disappear completely. If we try using a new global key, the error will also disappear. Each widget must have its own unique global key. Don't reuse the same key for multiple widgets. All right, that's it for today's video. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Flutter tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.